has co-authored a book, a great book, a local book called Tampa Bay Music Roots. Tell me about the cover picture. Um, the cover uh, photo most people will recognize if they're uh, really not just into local music, but even uh, Southern rock. Uh, uh, that is the Outlaws who got their start. They uh, were a major band, went national, um, but they started out locally here in the, in the Bay Area back in the late 60s. It's incredible. We're here today because this is just hitting newsstands, Barnes & Noble, online, mm -hmm. and it's an incredible kickoff and it's our area. Yep. So how is it that you wrote this book? Um, well, you know, for many years, uh, um, I had had several offers uh, from a few different uh, other possible co-authors and publishing companies to write various, ask me if I write various books because I'd spent most of my career as a uh, music columnist. And um, so I got several different offers to write different types of books relating to the local music scene and even the national music scene. And for one reason or another, nothing ever kind of, uh, it stalled out or something happened and, and it didn't go through. And then of course, I retired in 2015, got out of the music business after a long time of being in it. And then, of course, two years after that, that's when <laughs> the another came. publisher comes and asks. They contacted, um, they were trying to contact me through my, uh, the um, nonprofit I have, the Tampa Bay Music Scene Historical Society, which chronicles uh, and documents basically the history of the music scene here in Tampa. I try to do any research on the local music scene. Um, one of the first things that's going to pop up is the Historical Society website. And up until that was uh, up and, I, and that was founded back in 2012, it was kind of hard to find anything on, on some of the old bands, especially if they were bands that never got signed. Sure. And, you know, it was, it, you just couldn't. Through that, actually, we got several hits. One was on Hulk Hogan. Someone was doing a documentary. I think it was Warner Brothers a few years ago was doing a uh, film a documentary for hmm. uh Hulk Hogan hmm. and they heard that he was in several prominent local bands here before he became a wrestler and they found the, the photos on the historical society couldn't find it anywhere else so they contacted me to get those um, so it was kind of like that with uh, with the book um, Arcadia Publishing contacted they wanted to do for their series Images of America they wanted a, a book about the Tampa Bay music scene because they heard how prominent it was during certain mm. couple different periods of uh, uh, of t uh, the history. They actually ended up finally getting through to Charlie, who also is one of my board of directors for the Historical Society. So once they got a hold of him, he contacted me, and they did this offer and uh, offered it to us. So with the Tampa Bay music scene, does the book only cover like real guys that really made it big or who can we find in this book? No, actually we did. It was very important to both of us, uh, both Charlie and myself, that we wanted to make sure we kind of covered both the big groups and artists who may started out here but got signed to major uh, labels and went on and, and became na nationwide or Jim Morrison. Hits. There you go. There you go. Um, uh, but also we wanted to pay homage because it's very important to us even more so uh, uh, that we pay homage to all the uh, great local original bands that, that uh, throughout the years that have made such an impact on the scene that they just didn't quite ever reach that. They didn't get signed, but they were they were rock stars here. I bet you the uh, Images of America people liked that too. Um, yeah, well, and that was one of their things too because they wanted to make sure that the book, you know, um, went and tried to uh, go back a, a long ways into the past and covered a little bit of everything. In so it. how far back does it go? Late 1800s. So, uh, that was surprising, yeah, really? Absolutely. You had organizations forming to, to wow. you know, be like a union for musicians. So absolutely. So, I mean, obviously there's not a lot going that but far back. it's fantastic. Um, the main book, the most of it, the mo most of the, start, uh, the stuff in there is going to start out uh, getting heavy, like right around the, the, the 40s and everything. And, and then it's just 
tons of information from. So now that you said the 40s, mm -hmm. like like what? Like who? who did, what did we have here? Of course, the blues scene was huge here uh, around that time and even before and a little bit after. Blues scene was huge. Um, the Ybor City District, the area there, um, was just huge. All kinds of original blues artists, also national um, blues artists at the time that were coming down here and touring and playing. Um, That's so great. So Charles Brantley, Ray Charles, uh, everyone. No kidding. I just wouldn't have known. So, I mean, it, it fi I find the book super interesting. <laughs> like, I want to read about the area because this is my home now, you know. So even though I didn't originate here, um, I'm going to find it fascinating. There's you know? not too many people that did originally. <laughs> no, I'm not. True. I'm a transplant. I'm from Detroit. So. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. That's a whole music scene and a half. A whole other scene. So here you were. You did all the music there, and now you're in Tampa Bay writing about right, it there. There you go. <laughs> See, you're just a music guy. I'm just saying. I, I always had been all my life. Absolutely. So who are the most recognizable that someone who doesn't know the area but knows national music or who 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 are in the book that would just like kind of jump out at people ray charles like i mentioned a lot of people um are surprised when they hear that they don't realize that ray charles actually got a start here in the ebor city district when he was younger not as a solo artist he started out um playing in various other bands and everything charles uh brantley his his band being one and and then of course he built up a following down here and this was of course before he got signed and then uh went on from there and and moved out of the area and then of course the rest is history another one he's not a musician but a big uh, uh figure in in the music business would be colonel tom parker Oh, wow. Um, that was his long time manager. Yeah. So where did you find all the photos that are in book? There's like 120 awesome photos in there. The easy part of the book is writing it. Mm. The hardest part of the book is finding the foot, trying to dig up these old photos, getting the permissions to use them, making sure that they can be used in the book quality wise. Mm. You got to realize back uh, years ago before the digital age and all this, you know, uh, it was all just regular still camera taking sure. photos. And a lot of people throughout the years. Um, and they degrade. They degrade. They've never been transferred on to digital. You don't have uh, the negative. Exactly. So uh, a lot of the photos, we had a lot of photos already that were collected, that had been collected for uh, for years now for the Historical Society. Um, but on top of it, the rest we had to go back and try and, and dig them up, contact, find out where some of these people are now. Not only for permissions, but even if we have an artist we want to feature in the book and we can't find the photos anywhere, I have to. We have to try and contact and say, "Hey, do you have any old photos sure. for, we're doing?" Or the family because so, they've passed on, or exactly. So yeah. I mean, that it's a chore. So it's just basically doing a lot of footwork, trying to contact people, uh, hunt down people, hunt down photographs, get the permissions, and all that. It's a, it's a chore. <laughs> we're still trying to juggle our lives, our other professions, on top of doing this. It helped out because. I already had the the you know ha had the historical society that had, was founded back in 2012. So uh, a lot of the the facts, the the biographical mm, the information, yeah. and even some photos we already had. So it was just compiling them. So what is your favorite part of the book? I think my favorite part was just mainly more so not the national artists, but the local unsigned artists that finally get some sort of recognition in print and, and a historical, you know, chronicled for for forever as long yeah, as Yeah, the acknowledgement around. really the acknowledgement there. that they yeah. deserve. That, that is the part that really, I'm really happy with because, you know, it's just, uh, you know, I, it, to me it's really important. So let's talk about how people can get it. Are you, uh, with Barnes & Noble, I'm assuming it's barnesandnoble.com and then they find the title of the yeah. book or uh well either way you can go they'll sell it in the store you can also go to barnes and noble uh, dot com amazon books uh some of the others out there you can find it anywhere just google the name